Hello everyone, I'm Nico and I am the one behind the Froggy channel that you subscribe to. This is a different kind of video that I just felt like I had to do. Since today we've uh, encountered a really scary situation and I just felt like this is some knowledge about frogs that uh, potentially could help you save a frog at some time. So what happened was that my older frog, Lima Bean, which you might know from my videos, um, had an accident and I almost lost him. But he's doing fine, he's right next to me just sleeping and relaxing and uh, I will not show him into the camera or make any videos anytime soon, I just want him to recover properly and don't want any give him any stress so don't be surprised if there will be no videos featuring lima bean soon so what happened was that lima bean always had quite a hard time jumping and climbing and also turning himself back around if he falls over which sadly happens sometimes so normally he would just lay there and when I see it, I immediately go to him, give him like my finger and he'll pick it up and I'll flip him a little bit over with my finger and he'll be fine. The problem, of course, is when I'm asleep. Um, I can't be there 24-7 for my frog and that's pretty much what happens and in the worst way possible. So obviously in a in a frog terrarium, you should have different kind of heat spots. There's a heat spot on the right side of my terrarium and it gets colder on the left side so on the right side where it's the hottest that's where he fell over and he just laid there for a really long time many many hours i i do not know for how many hours but quite some hours and when i found him i wasn't even sure if he's alive because his his uh, lower limbs were all dried out and brown and really thin and small and and they already looked pretty dead and just up in the air and the frog couldn't move there was no movement the frog didn't seem to have a heartbeat even or breathe um and his eyes were just uh halfway closed and that protective eye layer was halfway there as well so so that's the first point i want to make sure you know if a frog looks dead it doesn't mean the frog is actually dead almost all frogs need water and if they don't have that water they dry out and they need water to breathe first thing to do is if you see a frog make sure you know it's not a poisonous frog before you touch it that's just generally what you should do if you live in Europe or Northern America, I think there are no poisonous frogs. So I think in these regions you're generally fine. The second thing you should do if you see a dried up frog, you should immediately put some water on him. You probably won't have a spray bottle with you, but make sure to give him some moisture on his body because frogs breathe through their skin. So water has oxygen and that's what the frogs take to breathe. That applies for pretty much all kind of frogs. Um, if they live in the water or if they are tree frogs like my frogs and I don't mean completely pour water all over them No, just give them some moisture on you know the lower back or somewhere But preferably not over the head just so there's some initial moisture because you need to act fast Once you've done that you need to put the frog into some water Make sure you have fresh water in Germany for example the tap water is very very good and you can just take tap water If you're in the US or somewhere make sure you have have some really good fresh water without any bad chemicals in there or anything. If you're close to a creek, take some fresh water there. If not, just take some drinking water, but not carbonated. But you need to make sure that the frogs, especially when they're tree frogs, tree frogs have a really hard time swimming anyways, they need to be over the water and under the water. So what I did with my frog was the lower limbs, which were completely dried out and hard and brown already i put that into the water so the frog was halfway in the water and the upper part with the hands were outside of the water so the frog was essentially 50 percent in the water don't take any water that's been used by your frogs before for example gotta make sure it's really fresh water so it has a lot of oxygen in it and this water bath should help your frog 
remoisturize and how do you see if it is successful well number one the limbs if they're completely dried out they will swell up and get bigger again and the frog maybe after half an hour will be able to move again hopefully the next thing to tell if your frog is doing well again is the color uh, all frogs have different colors but Generally, you can say if a green frog is green, he's happy and doing great. My frog did not really look alive, but after maybe an hour soaking in this bath, he started using his eyes again and he opened the eyes and he could... He made the typical frog breathing uh, movement again and he was essentially back on his feet but only halfway. It really takes a few more hours of care for them to be able to, to walk again. My frog is just sleeping next to me and I'm just keeping him here and paying attention on him for the next few hours. He does have some burn marks on his back sadly which might be permanent but he's really green again and he can move his limbs properly and it might take a while until he eats again. But this is pretty much how you can save a frog's life in case you find or you have a frog that's dried out and while a frog might look dead there's a chance your frog is still alive so i hope you will never have to use this information but in case you do now you know how to save a frog's life i hope this was helpful thank you for listening and uh I guess you will probably not see me, but see my frogs in the next few videos. Have a great day, everyone, and uh, take care.